So I I have been spending as an instructional my spiritual master a lot of time in the West, especially in America, over the last four or five years. And I try to understand where people are coming from. So I noticed two two different things. Yes, there is always the possibility that we become so sensitive that we we don't speak the truth. But there is also the other thing that sometimes uh, there are some aspects about our presentation or about prioritization of our philosophical presentations that alienates people and then it doesn't let them come to our core teachings. So in that sense, my understanding is sensitization and is at least we need an awareness of what is going to affect people to what degree. Then after that, we can decide, is this an important enough teaching for me to speak right now at this place to this person? And if it is, then, th then we can speak it. But if it is not, if you are not just aware of it and something which uh, prevents people from, from even understanding the core principles of Krishna consciousness because of certain, certain incidental statements, like Prabhupada, that particular conversation which you quoted, and why are you focusing on that he had so many bodyguards? There is so many other, so much other wisdom in the Bhagavatam. Why not focus on that? So my concern is more that if we are not aware of how people perceive us, then we may alienate them by, by peripheral points and actually be committing violence to them by not giving them the, even the opportunity to hear the core points. So... That of course, so I would say both dangers are there. One is we become so sensitive that we never speak the core points. But the other is that we become so, you could say, insensitive or unmindful of how our audience is perceiving us that the peripheral points of our presentation alienate them from the core points and they never get to hear those. <laughs> While you were saying that, I was thinking of, of Srila Prabhupada in America in 1966, giving his classes about how Arjuna should, Krishna was telling Arjuna, you're a fool because you don't want to fight. And this is at the height of the anti-Vietnam War protests. And Srila Prabhupada was talking against illicit sex and against taking drugs. Phew, he got away with it. <laughs> yeah, that is... You know, one thing is social media has made things much worse now where really, any, really, yeah. any part can be extracted from anywhere and put together. So yeah. that is the challenge. So what you said earlier also, that it's, it's amazing how Prabhupada didn't get too much of a vehement opposition despite his strong statements on many issues. Well, no, but not only did he not get opposition, but the people who are coming to him were, were hippies who believed in free sex and drugs and no war. And Srila Prabhupada was strongly against these things. And he still managed to take people out and make devotees. That's really amazing. <laughs>